In this video, we'll demonstrate how to remove air from the Streamline in Streamline Express. SL and SLE are both designed to minimize blood-air interface, which may reduce clotting during your dialysis treatments. As such, it's important during setup to remove as much air as possible in the form of microbubbles and trapped air pockets from the blood tubing lines. By following these steps during priming and recirculation, you can further remove air, which should help provide an optimal treatment. Here, SLE is already hung on a Fresenius 2008K dialysis machine in the optimal way in which to enable air removal. The venous chamber is upside down. The arterial pod is below the heparin line, hanging vertically. The first step is to ensure that the dual spike is fully inserted to the disc. If you need to insert further, use a back and forth insertion motion, which will prevent tubing kinks. Next is to perform a gravity prime before placing the tubing into the blood pump to ensure removal of all air. Saline must fully fill the arterial line, including the pump segment, up to the arterial dialyzer connection before inserting into the blood pump. We can then set the blood pump rate to between 150 and 200 milliliters per minute with a 300 milliliter prime amount volume. Start the pump, then open the small blue clamp on the dual lumen spike. Allow the dialyzer and inverted venous chamber to fill until air is expelled. The pump will stop upon completion of prime volume. Place venous chamber in upright position for recirculation, machine test, and treatment. At this point, the pump should be set for 400 milliliters per minute for recirculation. In order to dislodge air bubbles in the circuit, tap the arterial line and arterial pod two to three times during the recirculation mode. Tilt the venous port of the dialyzer to approximately the 10 o'clock position with the dialysate port tilted upwards. Tap the venous and dialyzer header two to three times during the recirculation mode. We call this tilt and tap, which should be repeated two to three times to ensure air is expelled. Finally, tap the venous pod and venous chamber two to three times during recirculation mode. Fill the venous chamber to expel all air that has been collected there. Continue watching until saline fills up to the level adjust medication line just prior to starting treatment. Take this step anytime medications are also administered. In summary, Taking these steps will help expel air in the form of microbubbles, which you may not be able to see, as well as trapped air in the blood tubing line set. Removal of as much air as possible will reduce blood air interface and may reduce clotting, providing for an optimal treatment outcome with SLE.